Let's introduce the starters for tonight's game. For the Plattsburgh High School Lady Hornets, number two, Hannah LeClaire. Number five, Adrian Nye. Number seven, Haley McLaughlin. Number eight, Anna Hewitt. Number 10, Casey Scores. Number 11, Ashley Carper. Number 15, Kalia Carper. Number 17, Sarah Duquette. Number 21, Kelsey Cynical. Number 23, Brooke Knight. And number 18, Alyssa Sauls. Now for your Cougars. Number five, Taylor Labadoo. Number six, Paige Dominic. Number eight, Michaela McDonough. Number 13, Lexi Pirro. Number 14, Peyton Sample. Number 16, Shailen Rao. Number 19, Maddie Tucker. Number 20, Emily Sample. Number 21, Katie Matat. Number 22, Tiana LaDuke. And number 25, Christina Paola. Please rise and remove all headgear for the singing of the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the rivers we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare love on bursting in air gave a mood to the night that our flag was still there in the whole us that star spangled bear yet away. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. couple of Tim's coaching tonight. We have Tim Mulligan and Tim, where do you go, Supernaw, there he is. Officials are Gary Kaiser and Jim Varon, Calvin Castine at Northeastern Clinton Central School. It's the 20th day of September 2013, next to the last day of summer. And this is a Friday night, Northern Soccer League Division One play. Plattsburgh High School and Northeastern Clinton coming at you right here, right now on viewer-supported local television. This is number seven, McLaughlin, taking it. Put it up to the 18. Uh, cohort Joe Southwick is otherwise occupied tonight, so that's uh, going to be up to us to try to learn the Cougar names. Oh, knocked down there by Leduc. Controlled by Rao. No, Matat. 21 Matat. Rao's over here at 16. Let's kick down a little handball there. Inadvertent, but uh, it went up to protect your face, and it's a handball for LeClaire. Handball is put back into play by McDonough. There's a Knight. Sends it forward. Collision at the 18. Ball is kicked out of bounds. Paola will track it down. This is uh, starting a little late here. They're running a little late in their pregame stuff for some reason. And uh, we blame it entirely on the officials. they got to get after these coaches, uh, particularly the visiting coach, to uh, get going and get things uh, done and get it going, get the game going. There's 20 of right now, it's supposed to be a 6.30 start and it's uh, only two minutes into the game, so 
We are definitely uh, running late. Actually, it's uh, 19 of, so we're started about nine minutes late on this Friday night. Rao, uh, picked up by Piro. And it kicked and goes off the foot of scores. And Leduc will throw the road in. Put the ball into Rabadou over to uh, Peyton Sample up near the 18. And it's cleared out by Carper. Sample will come over for the throw. Six is uh, Dominic for the Cougars. Kick down the field by LeClaire. She got the ball past Emily Sample. Now who's in the corner here? We got 19. That's Tucker, Maddie Tucker. I'm trying to learn the names and run the camera. Doesn't always work. Nice job on the uh, national anthem by uh, Jim Sorrell. Temperature when I arrived for the JV game, a little over two hour, two and a half hours ago, it was 77 degrees, so it's a very pleasant late summer day in the North Country. That's going to be out. The Cougar throw, sample will toss it in. And uh, to whistle for extra ball on the field. We'll do it again. Keep our eye on the horizon. Uh, I uh, would have thought we'd see it by now, but I don't see the moon. Last night uh, we come back from uh, Ellenberg and there's a big, big moon in that sky, and tonight is the full moon, so it should be even bigger, but I don't, uh, don't see it on the horizon. And I uh, could have swore it was about this time that I saw it last night, so I think it's a uh, it's running behind. Rao and kick toward the net. By uh, Piro. Cleared out by Sauls. Ooh, Piro again trying to send it. Now it's cleared back by the Hornets. McDonough corrals it. Can't keep it in play. Thrown in by LeClaire. And it's, uh, Tucker chasing it. And Rao. Tot. Tot sends a long one. Those are dangerous. Well, they're always dangerous. That hit just under, just off the crossbar. And Salz makes a nice stop. Excellent opportunity there for the Cougars. Get those shots back there, particularly in girls' soccer, because the keepers are usually shorter than the boys' keepers. It's uh, always dangerous. And those high shots come in just under the bar. Three twelve to go in the first half. We are scoreless. I 
we got orange throw now. Yeah, orange throw. Both headed by McDonough. White throw. Dominic can send back by the Hornets. What was the call? Not sure what the call was. Like the call was back here. I don't know. The orange kick. Looks like McLaughlin will take it. Good boot right to Paola. Look out, Paola was bumped. And she is in pain. They had uh, Ducat going in aggressively and uh, Paola felt the brunt. throw. Going back to control. Chipped forward. Knight kicks it back. Carried up the middle. And broken up there by uh, Dominic. Subs for the Cougars, 15 and 23. So you got uh, Jenna LaValle and Chelsea Menard in. This is 21, Cynical. White ball. Laduke, the orange kick. We're in 10 minutes into this one. 29.48 to go in the first half. McLaughlin starts it up. Chipped into the corner. And kicked out of bounds by Zakowski. Kruger throw thrown in by Sample. Back for control. Used to be the keeper could grab those, but not anymore. They gotta just deliberately kick back to them by the defense. They gotta uh, play it by foot or head or body, but they can't grab them, can't use their hands. Just kick back to them deliberately by the defense. Brow be orange throw scores will toss it in. Tossed it in to Ducat. Sends it over to Hewitt. And the top couldn't keep it in, it's orange throw. Field. 
Uh, it's going to go off the toe of Rao. Thrown in by Duquette. Up the wing. Up to the 18, Duquette to uh, Knight, but broken up by the Cougars. Sample. Twenty-seven to go in the first half. Kicked out of bounds. Yeah, it'll be a cougar throw. Throw taken by Menard. Off Plattsburgh, it'll be another chance for Menard to throw it in. Rao takes a shot. Uh, easily handled by Sauls. Sounds like somebody's burning some trash somewhere in the area. Whoa, look out. Balls at midfield. And Tim Supernaut said his team had a new formation. He just uh, started using the last game and it seemed to work against Peru. <clears throat> well, it's a different uh, formation on the field. Hoping to get more offense. 25 and a half to go in the first half. Uh, McDonough back there. Subs for both teams coming in. And we're quickly approaching the 25 minute mark. As soon as we get a Plattsburgh player over here, we're going to have a throw in. Or a throw. It's like 24 swives. Matat battling for it. Dot sends it downfield. Must be a handball. No, nope, I'm not sure what it was. Brought it back a little ways. McDonough puts it in play. down the field. Good move. Whoa, you be careful on those type of things in the box. I've been in the middle of the field, the uh, whistle might have been blown on that, but uh, Referee Kaiser didn't think it was worthy of a penalty kick, so let him play on. Cougar sub. There's the throw. Up to the 18 or near the 18. One hopper to Sauls from uh, Tucker. And the orange throw.
out of bounds. Thrown in by Sample. Taken away by Hewitt. Duke is ball to Rabidou. Rabidou sends it up. Ball squirts by. There's throw. We've gone to great expense to hire an acrobat here to entertain the fans. It's kind of like a cheerleader, a soccer cheerleader. Oh, headed at the 18. Straight up. We'll try to split the defenders. Tips it up the right wing. Back into the box. Again. That was 14 Picaro. Picararo. Trying to clear it out. It's sent back. Tucker. Now we're halfway through the first half with no score. Zero zero on the scoreboard. Nobody will take it. Be a corner kick. Sub in for the Cougars. Looks like Rao coming back in. by Dominic. There's the goal kick. Tucker brings it back. Over them tot and the wing. It's what was it? That was Rabidou. Duquette will take the throw. Sample chips it. No, oh, can't get a body on it. Dominic to the middle. Tended for sample. Taken away by Knight. Stopped by uh, number eight McDonough. Where's the ball? There it is. It'll be Swayze taking it. Oh. 
cleared high by Sample, headed on the tot, now kicked up by uh, Rao, the tot goes the other side. A call going against the Hornets. 1640 left in the first half. Still scoreless. We get double balls on the field. Pick your choice. McDonough will take it. Puts it in play. Dangerous ball, and it's going to go wide. Cougars couldn't get ahead on it. Good boot there by. McDonough. Well, we got 15 Lavalley, General Lavalley back in. Here's the goal kick. Now we're under 16 to go in the half. The Duke with the head. Tucker will throw it in. Matat has it taken away. Picked up by Lavalley. Over the far side to Rabidou. And it's kicked out of bounds by Zakolsky. Eighteen turned. Trying to go up the wing. White ball. Throw by Dominic. Ball comes to the 18. And Plattsburgh will get there first, but they kick it off each other. Ends up on the foot of Rabidou, and it's going to be off Picararo. Brady. Just take it away. Right into the corner. And subs for both teams. There they come. 13.50. Showing on the clock. We're in the first half, and neither team has scored. McDonough will take the goal kick. Rabideau. Kick by McDonough. Duke will chase it down. Duquette was looking for a call. And it's going to stay in bounds. Same play. Picked up the field by Sorrell. Sorrell will make the stop. Sample, uh, uh, Stebbins was fighting for it. The uh, orange throw. <laughs> the 
the Duke. And get downfield. On the field by Sample. White. Orange. <laughs> Our free Kaiser said white. Classic <laughs> fans groaned, then he said orange, orange. This will be white. Apparel. And turned around by Nye. A nine name, very well known years ago up here in Champlain. There's a nice store up by the border. Who's mad you wanted to, <laughs> wanted to push anybody who was nearby, whether it was the one who pushed her or not? Orange cat. Up near the 18, cleared back out. And up again. And that's where we try to clear it out of here. We have other ideas. Set in the middle of the field. Eighteen from sample kicked out. White throw. Nine and a half showing in the first half. Field is gonna come out. Get out of that box, you can't pick it up. Just to play it like any other player. No Arm throw. The carp fur, carp fur taking it. Reverse. And orange no throw. Two Paola from McLaughlin. She'll carry it out to the 18. And we're hearing sirens blowing out there behind us. That shot is wide. It looks like the siren is heading uh, east on Route 11. No, it's not the siren, but the ambulance. sub. Dominic come back in. 
There's the throw. Under seven to go in the first half. Field by Duquette. Goes out. Go down to 542. A couple of Cougar subs to come in. I have no idea where the moon went. <laughs> Maybe it rolls real early. Maybe it's high in the sky. I was looking forward to seeing it on the horizon tonight. the end zone. <clears throat> it goes out. <clears throat> We're at 447. Goes as well. Another cool throw. Dominic will take it. <coughs> Maybe kicked out of bounds by Matat. McLaughlin with the throw. The Duke. And kicked by Boyer. Battling on the far side with Carper. And a Cougar throw. Sample will take it. 324. Left in the half. Scoreless half. So far. Orange throw. Throw. Carried by Northeastern. Up to the eighteen, but cleared out. Twenty-two left in the half. Call goes against the Cougars. If Joe Southwick were here, he'd be saying two minutes.
over the top and over the top. Set it. McDonough will take it. One twenty four to go. Fields. Knight sends it. Nice through ball. Oh. <laughs> Those weren't long enough. What was it? 13? Number 13. Uh, Freddy. Just barely got a yeah, edge of her shoe on the ball. Just barely enough to say she touched it. Down to 20 seconds. White throw. Two seconds. First half is going to end with the score. Plattsburgh High School, nothing. Northeastern Clinton, nothing. You're watching viewers supported local television, hometown cable. Second half is just underway. I just came out a little too slow to get that unusual formation there. It looked like a football <coughs> formation from the uh, Hornets. They had about five or six players lined up right here. Looked like they were running a football play. But they weren't. Second half, Northeastern being visited by the Hornets of Plattsburgh. And we're still looking for the full moon to show its face. That ball bounces to the keeper, Sauls. Uh, back to the camera work here. This is Rao. On the side, Raul will take the throw. Jim Barron doing a little fancy footwork there and getting out of the way. It'll be Cougar throw, it'll be Tucker. Tucker with the toss. I see the moon. I see the moon peeking over the top. It's uh, at least an hour behind where it was last night. Tomorrow's well, the last day of summer. Joe Southwick told us it was a harvest moon. Let's call it. Something happening in the corner. Out of our view, we see a Plattsburgh player down. That moon was huge last night. What we got? Injury? Yep. We have an injury, so we have a clock stoppage with 37.51 showing. And the moon making its debut on this 20th day of September 2013. It's a big one.
It's going to be a kick for the Hornets. Uh, on contact. There it goes behind. Like uh, goal kick. There's the throw. And this time it'll be tossed in by Carper. It is by Perro. Top will try to turn it. Sends it down the field. Rabbit will give him chase. It'll be cleared out of bounds. It'll be Cougar throw. The top tosses it in. Peril. Now back to the top. Sample. Kicked by uh, Tucker. Tucker grabs it. Tucker would throw it into the box. The top kicks it and goes off off Plattsburgh. There'll be a Cougar corner kick. Let's put it back in. And Hornet to clear it out. Headed the uh, sample. Broken up by the Hornets. Goes out of bounds. Cougar throw, sample takes it. Corral. Matat. Matat puts it right on net. Nice shot by Katie Matat. Right. Two souls. Check them on. That's our last moon shot. Call goes against the Hornets, much to the dismay of the Plattsburgh fans. Looks like McDonough's coming up for it. Puts a nice ball in there, and it's a one hopper. Everybody gets there, but uh, Salz is able to hang on to it. Pick up the ball. Kick out of bounds. We'll have subs for both teams. And a cougar throw. Throw by sample. Oh, 
and tossed in by was that seventeen Ducat. Now Rabidou. Go out of bounds, it'll be another Rabidou throw. Matat sends it in front of the box. And Sauls will get there. Nice ball, but there's nobody in the area. Nobody hustling in there. They're hustling, but not, apparently not in position to hustle in and score. Peyton Sample. With Carper with the throw. Really? Dean is Freddy. And to the corner they go. Infraction in that corner. We're hearing a lot of groaning out of the Plattsburgh fans. They can see it, but we can't. So there's a free kick by McLaughlin. Cleared out of the box. Nothing there but Plattsburgh. They send it back. Sub. Ten minutes have gone here in the second half, still scoreless. Fifty minutes of action thus far, half an hour remaining in the half. Take it. over that way and that's Rachel Sylvester. I'll show you the flag briefly. It can come into focus. There it is. You can see the wind is coming from the southeast. goes out of bounds. 
Quite a thrill. There's one up to the concession stand. I mean, I know she's not going to run I mean, I not Apple sent it to the 18. Oh, taken off the foot of Dominic. Plattsburgh 25-54 showing in the second half. There's Matat. Matat's got to get rid of it. Sends it through. Just a little too much on it, and uh, well, Valley couldn't get there in time. Mighty throw from Swayze. And the Cougars on the attack. Kicked out as Raul is closing in on it. There's a throw back to Raul. She switches fields. Tucker trying to get it, but it's controlled by Nye. Cougars get it back, Leduc sends it. Subs will come in. Twenty-four oh seven to go. In the second half, zero zero on the scoreboard. Keeper. Sauls will put it in the air. Out of bounds. The Duke will take the throw. Forward. Now it takes the Cougar bounce or Al trying to get a shot. Sauls with the punt. Mm -hmm. 
Sample down in the corner to Rao. Long throw. This is scores with the throw. That booted way down the field. That'll be a corner kick. So what the fans are hollering about, but the hospital fans were upset over something. Chipped up to the 18. Number 11, Carper. All bouncing and picked up by Paola. Hornets will kick it back. Uh, On the field. Up by Sauls. There was any advantage to it. The ball was elbowed down accidentally. And we're down to 19 14 with no score. Plattsburgh High School visiting Northeastern Clinton September 20th, 2013. 9 20 Thrown in, sample to sample, as kicked by the Hornets. Now we have a whistle. Looks like McDonough has said it. Over the top. Nice effort there by McDonough. Nice shot. 18 14 left in the second half. We're hoping for someone to score. I 
Here's the goal kick. Can you do like any of the back of the line? Can you talk about it? I don't know if I'm going to make it to me. Yeah, I'm not sure. Cleared out by the Hornets. Broken up. We'll just bring it back. Sixteen forty-two to go. And Pale Devil easily play it. Knight tries to carry it back. It's kicked by a sample, Emily Sample, and she came up limping a little bit. She twisted her knee on the kick. Rabidou. And Solve will carry it back in. It'll be a, a goal kick. Big throw. And number 15 with the throw. Uh, 15 is Carper. That'll be another Plasper throw. Knight overruns the ball, comes back for it. Back in, and Paolo will handle it. Under 15 showing in regulation. Orange charge. Out of bounds. It'll be a cougar throw. Sample will take it, taken down toward the 14 minute mark. Kicked forward by Pearl. Kicked out. No. Nope. Yeah, kicked out. So it'll be a uh, Plattsburgh throw, scores will take it. Now Cougar throw, sample. Again to McDonough. To Matat, excuse me, to Matat. Here's, uh, here's 15, uh, La Valley. Cougars, under 13 to go in the second half for the scoreless game. We're hoping for a nice one nothing contest there. It's our favorite score in regulation. All taken <laughs> some silly hops. Okay, 
Point throw. Looks like it might be revenue. Up to the 18. And that's going to be off the end line. And we're down to almost the 12 minute mark. Two subs in for Plattsburgh. We'll have a goal kick. Headed. Eleven and a half remaining. Here's the goal kick. Tipped behind the net. Goal kick is sent back by the Cougars. And Hopper to Stalls. And a pump. Throw, but first we have a sub coming in. This is Hannah LeClaire who will take it. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Knight in for Nye. Under 10. Under 10. In the second half. Still waiting for that goal. From somebody. Fire with a throw. Cougar sub. Rabideau is back in. And Tot taken down. Start, I should say. The offside. There we got eight twenty seven. Zero zero. You always put it to eighteen. Goes against the Cougars. Plattsburgh with the restart. Time is under eight now in the second half. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Plattsburgh will set it. I think McLaughlin will take it. Or scores. Looks like McLaughlin. Up 
for the 18. Something back. Oh, the Hornets headed. Here comes Knight, looking for a score. She's going to shoot. She's going to put it in. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. And it's a goal for Brooke Knight to put the Hornets up with 6.49 on the clock. Twenty-three from thirteen, so the assist goes to Frady. Knight from Frady. Plattsburgh with a late goal here. For those who battle hoping to knot it up. Google fans are hoping for overtime. Internet fans just want to get out of here. And the call goes against Rabidou. Plattsburgh in no hurry. Tip by Leduc. A sample. Good throw, 5.42. Break away a chance. Ghana slowly back on her feet. Keep it going, keep it going. It didn't ask. Looking for a second goal. Very back. It was uh, Tucker on defense and uh, Frady on offense. Cougar throw. 4:44 remaining in the second half. One nothing. Plattsburgh. with the throw. Kick up by Sample. Yeah. back. Call goes against the Cougars. Yeah. 3.48 left in the second half. Cougar throw. Clock ticking fast, very fast if you're a cougar. Top clock ticking slow if you're a hornet. Cougar went down hard. Refs uh, with the Cougars uh, in control. They didn't want to take a potential scoring opportunity away from Northeastern. But they gave the 
go down the player a chance to get up. 2.20 to 2.30 left in the second half. Paola will come out and boot it. Gonna go out of bounds. And looks like number 11, Carper, will come over for the throw. A sub in for the Hornets. Using the clock. That's what you do when you got a lead and the clock is ticking down. Put the subs in, take some time off the clock. 150. It in. Scores will take the throw. The Duke sends it down. thrown in. I was looking for the ball and it was thrown in. 46 seconds. Yeah, Plattsburgh throw. Thirty seconds. A Duke. Twenty one seconds. Fourteen. And that will do it. Five seconds. So Plattsburgh High School Hornets will defeat the Northeastern Central School Tigers. By one nothing margin. That's the way it was in Northern Soccer League. Division one play on this September 20th, 2013. You're watching viewer supported local television, hometown cable. I don't know if we've got anybody on the Plattsburgh side of supporting our efforts. So how about uh, a Hornet or two stepping up and uh, saying, hey, thanks for the coverage. In the meantime, thanks for watching.